you, River Darlene. And you've been sitting. What a beautiful thing that is. And what a beautiful thing it is to notice that you have so many powerful teachers here at Agape International that you can just dip into the years of work that they have done upon themselves to absolutely feel the power, the presence, the love, the beauty, and the intelligence of God Almighty. Isn't it a wonderful, wonderful thing? I believe in the multiple guru system. Everyone giving you a facet of that diamond from the very center of their being. And so you've been practicing the art and the science of meditation. And in so doing, what you are doing is providing uh, the context for the great escape. That is, you're escaping from a limited paradigm, positionality, a point of view, it's often run by opinions and projections. So when you sit, you're seeking to escape from the mentation of your mind. All of those thought forms and perceptions and beliefs. Because in meditation, we throw away belief. We throw away opinion. We throw away our own point of view because we're, we're looking to have an encounter a direct encounter with the presence that's beyond our belief about it. Your belief is not it. It is it. And so the, the meditation practice allows you to be a candidate for an encounter with that which is real. It doesn't mean you don't have a belief. You can actually believe that the presence of God, by whatever name you choose to call the presence, is everywhere. You can believe that it's omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. You can believe that. You can believe that the presence of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, never compromises nor contradicts its nature. Good belief. However, that belief doesn't heal anything. It doesn't allow you to escape. The escape comes with practice. You're escaping the stranglehold of the mentation of the mind thinking or having a thought that that which you believe is the actual territory of the liberation. And so here at the Agape International Spiritual Center, meditation is our foundation. There's meditation, there is affirmative prayer, there is life visioning, augmented by sacred service, generosity, study, and fellowship. These are all components of not a lifestyle, but a way of living. Now, when you become a perpetual student of the truth, you know that you're crossing the threshold of being merely a believer into being a practitioner when you realize that the things that I've just mentioned, they have incorporated into your lifestyle. It's not just a Sunday to Sunday thing. It's not just an every now and then thing. It's not just when there's an emergency and you have to call somebody to pray for you. I, I better get to Agape because there's an emergency. Let me tune in. No you begin to realize that you've incorporated into your life, into your way of living, meditation, prayer, calling upon the life visioning skills, some study, fellowshipping, having conversations with visionary individuals that are not prone to gossip or judgment. All of this is a part of the way of living that, check this out, that even when you are not formally meditating, you're still prone to insights and revelations. You're still available to wisdom and guidance, moving through you intuitively and via direct knowing. You're still open to that because your way of living is allowing for you to carry more of the cosmic energy so that the broadcast that is perennial, you catch it. You may be catching it if you're stuck in traffic instead of being frustrated, suddenly, boom, there's an idea. The song is playing on the radio, gives you a, 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 a burst of, of an idea. You're, you're, you're in the park, you're walking down the street, you're walking your dog, you're, 
having dinner, you're washing dishes, whatever the case may be, you're not separate from your connection with the divine flow. When that begins to happen, you've crossed the threshold. And what we're seeking to encourage are not merely individuals church going or coming to the spiritual center. We're encouraging people to cultivate a way of living. You transform your life so that health of the body, temple, mental body, emotional body, subtle bodies, that the conviction that your needs are met as a frequency, the conviction that life is for you and not against you, this becomes indelibly imprinted subconsciously. And now you're able to walk in the world during this particular interesting age we're living in and not be of it, but to be of a higher frequency, to be of a, a joy that does not come from the world, a happiness, a peace, a deep sense of well-being. I'm going to stop talking in a moment, but I will say that what happens on an egoic perception is that the ego inflates value of something in the future that you want that's going to make you happy. It bypasses your connection to the joy that you already have. The ego imprints it onto a future thing. When I get that, I'll be happy. Only to discover when you get whatever that is, then the ego then generates another future thing for you to be happy in. It's an inflated value of something outside of yourself. It stops you from feeling the joy already, the happiness already, the peace already. In meditation, you're able to catch that gap between when the ego takes over your perception and when you are in that sublime, oh, I'm already happy. Happiness is already here. Joy is here. Now, rather than go and get happiness and joy, I'm giving it. I'm radiating it. And then the ramifications of that, beyond your imagination, the good gets to flow into your life. Let's sit again. I, for some reason, I heard Chubby Checker singing, Let's twist again, like we did last summer. <laughs> so let's sit again, like we did last summer. <laughs> I, I'm a goofball. <laughs> that's just, you know, that's, I, I don't even want to help it. <laughs> oh, let's squeeze our shoulders up to our ears. <clears throat> Release. You see, there's a nice smile on my face. You can allow one to be on your face, too. It adds face value. And even if you don't feel like it, just doing the face asana anyway allows for tonic chemicals to flow. Hmm. We're going to place our hands on our lap, facing upward, thumb and forefinger touching. Slight smile. We're embracing a vibrational intentionality to wake up and escape from our limited perception and have a, an encounter with the divine. Notice your attention is cradling your intention. Freedom. Awakening. Encounter with the divine presence.
you have simultaneous awareness. So as you're embracing the feeling tone of your intention, you're noticing that the body is breathing. I'm not asking you to do any prani, prani, pranayama, any breath work right now. I'm asking you to just witness the body doing its thing, its breathing. It may be a subtle breath, it may be a deep breath. The body has an intelligence right now. And it's breathing. And why do we do this? Because this breath is happening presently. We incline our inner ear, that is the ear that is behind the ear and beyond the ear, your awareness. We make ourselves available to hear the inaudible, to catch it in consciousness, that which can't be heard with the ears. We see that which can't be seen with the eyes, we're, we're available. As I remind us week to week, we sit today, this moment, all of us all around the globe, as if this is our very first time.
be heartful, be mindful, be present with the breath and your intention. Let's wake up. Where's your attention? Intention, breath, availability.
another moment, pure attention, pure intention. Let us take a deep inhalation and release. And let us allow ourselves to rest in an awareness of intense gratitude, dynamic thanksgiving, radical appreciation for life itself, that we are alive, that we exist, that we are awake, that we yielded to something within us that called us to, to celebrate the divine presence with a global community that's creating a center of coherence around the fundamental truth that the presence is omni. The presence is everywhere and right where we are. Oh, we allow for the gratitude to take over our, our breath, our thought, the gratitude to take over everything so that the recognition factor is so intense that we cannot help but see the presence of God everywhere, hiding in plain sight, so to speak. And the dynamic revelation that we're one with God. It is from this awareness that the word is spoken calling forth the true nature of this moment that's called naming it the true nature we name it we call forth the true nature of this moment which is insight and revelation which is holy community which is divine spiritual camaraderie this moment's meaning is an opening for a great expanded awareness of the presence uh, that's never an absence becoming the very activity of our awareness and that all of our needs are met on every level of our existence we call the wisdom of our multidimensional soul, our higher self, an anchor it on earth. And that every single thing works together for our individual and for our collective good. We accept this. We stand in proxy for all sentient beings on this planet. And as we rise up, we feel and hear the quantum statement by Yeshua ben Joseph, Jesus the Christ, saying, as I am lifted up, I draw all unto me. We step into that quantum frequency, standing in proxy for all beings, saying, as we as a community rise up, we draw all into this higher frequency. And here we abide. We shall not be moved by circumstances. Like that tree planted by the proverbial river, we shall not be moved. Stand still and see the salvation, see the self elevation through our gratitude and spiritual practice. Oh, it's happening now. Feel that all of your needs are met. Feel that you're healthy. It's not against the law to feel it, it's the right use of the law. We give thanks and allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. Your soul wants me to thank you for stopping and sitting with Agape International Spiritual Center. The surface mind may have been having a tug of war, but you yielded to your higher self to stop and to be in community and sacred fellowship. Kudos to you. You won 
this particular fight with the ego. Thank you. This is our opportunity to stretch our, our gratitude muscles and to stretch our giving muscles through generosity. Whether you call it a tithe, a gift, a donation, an offering, we want to call it forth from the depth of our being. We don't want to put it off. We don't want to say that's for other people. You, who are tuning in right now, you get the opportunity to support this spiritual community with all of its ministries and staff and programs and etc. And so, before I tell you how to do it, we just stop for a few seconds of prayer, giving thanks that all that we need is within us, and we are priming the pump through our giving so that, that which is within us becomes manifest as the coin of the realm and all needs met across the board of our life. We feel good about this as we bless this community known as Agape, giving thanks that it exists during these interesting times. And so it is. Amen. Veterans, you know exactly what to do. Your, 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 your giving muscle has been stretched. Thank you so much. For those of you who are just beginning and need a little reminder, you can take your phone and you can text. Text to donate is the official name of that texting to donate. Text the word give to 424-321-6243. It's on your screen here as a reminder. Your phone will prompt you. You choose the amount and the regularity of your gifting. You can do that right this moment. If you want to go to our website and give, there's a banner at the top, and it'll ultimately say donate. You press that banner. The website is agapelive.com, A-G-A-P-E-L-I-V-E.com. It'll take you to our website. You can donate online right this moment. You can also mail it in. It's always on time. Whenever it comes in, it's always the right time. You send your, your checks and money orders to Agape International, 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Los Angeles, California, 90211, USA. We're trying to make these states united. We're doing our uttermost so that when we say United States of America, it's really happening. And so you can do that right now. If you're on the Facebook page, there's a donation button on Facebook as well. If you're on YouTube, choose how you want to give. Even if you're watching this later, the circulation that comes into Agape will be needed at that particular moment. Thank you for your generosity. We're going to call forth the Reverend Julie Moret. She has some wonderful things to tell you. Good morning. To sign up for any of the items mentioned, visit agapelive.com and all times mentioned are Pacific Standard Time. Are you ready to expand in self-awareness and go deeper into the various stages of consciousness to activate your ability to master your thoughts, ideas, and beliefs? Join Master Teacher Reverend Cheryl Ward in Self-Awareness and Transcendent Consciousness, Mastering the Art of Spiritual Living. It's, this, it's an eight-week class. It starts this Saturday, January 29th at 10 a.m. Prerequisites are required, and it is a required class for the practitioner pathway. You can go to agapelive.com's university page for more information. Register today for Reverend Michael's class, Meditation 2.0, The Evolution of Consciousness. This five-week online class will support you through your journey of inner transformation, setting the stage for the next great expression of your life. Class has begun. However, when you sign up, you'll receive a recording of the first class so you won't miss a beat. Agape is looking for professional freelance graphic designers. If you're a designer by trade, email samples of your work, website, and references to admin resume at agapelive.com. Teen Agape meets online today at 11.15 a.m. For information and to join, click the Teen Agape banner on our website. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 o'clock. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30. Both are live on Zoom. To join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email revleon at agapelive.com. Remember, Monday through Saturday, we've got you. Prayer at 8 a.m., meditation at noon on Facebook Live. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first-come, first-serve complimentary one-on-one session with a licensed practitioner, email 
crisis support at agapelive.com. Anyone may attend. Odyssey, Agape's Young Adults Ministry for those ages 20 to 35, invites you to join us this Friday, January 28th, 7 p.m. Click on the banner on our website to join and contact Rev Arlene at agapelive.com with any questions. And finally for today, Agape Spiritual Community Gatherings meet Fridays at 5.30 p.m. Connect in community for an enriching, inspiring gathering led by your practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com for more information. Many blessings to you. Thank you, Reverend Julie. So you know what to do. AgapeLive.com will give you an in-depth awareness as some of the things that the Reverend Julie has mentioned to you and other things that we don't have time to mention. So check out the website, please. And thank you for your, your outflow of generosity now as you're aware of the inflow of the Spirit moving through you. We stop in this moment and we just give thanks for the great abundance that we're surrounded by and the practice of abundant consciousness through our generosity, our conscious giving, our donations, gifting, tithing. We give thanks that something within us is activated that we, have, we are mature enough to share and to give. We give thanks for this and allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Ah, as we prepare for the benediction aspect of life, we'll listen to a little bit of this. I forgive me. The song was written by myself and Tim McAfee Lewis a few years ago. This is being sung by I'm tired of the guilt. Charles Holt. Listen, tired of the guilt. That brings me pain. Tired of the guilt that brings pain. Now is the time. For me to let go now is the, the time shame. to let go of the shame. The past behind me. The past is behind me. I see a new. I see a new. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for my change. I'm ready for the change. I forgive I me. Forgive me. I forgive me. Everything that I've been holding. Everything that I've been holding on. I let, and I let go. go. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I'm ready. And I'm ready. For my change, my transformation, my unfoldment, my glowing. I'm ready we, for my change. we stand with a greater readiness that the universal I presence is always giving of itself man. totally and completely, never is operating under the consciousness of withholding. Therefore, as we release and let go, all that would hinder, obstruct, or deny the fullness of life. We allow the presence of God to be active in us right now. Going forth in this day as a celebrate of the divine presence. I feel it. I give thanks for it. And I allow it to be so. So it is. Amen. Dynamic blessing. We'll see you a little bit later.